Hey everyone, welcome back to Awesome Kids. Today we'll be checking out this I Do 3D Vertical Drawing 3D Playset. We've been having a lot of fun with 3D pens, so hopefully this one's really cool too. Let's open up the box and see what's inside. Here are four 3D pens that have different gel colors, black, green, blue, and red. These are the pen tips. We can attach this light to the pen so that we can harden the gel as we go. And here are some tools to create some different shapes with the gel. Alright, here's the instructions, and we'll be creating a 3D Triceratops today. And we'll be using this translucent sheet to create our dinosaur. Okay, so to start, we need to pick one color to use, so I'll go with green, and then we'll need to attach the pen tip. Twist it. And perfect! Now let's do the same thing for the rest of the 3D pens. Alright, it's time to create! Place the translucent sheet over the Triceratops image. Attach the light onto the front of the pen. And then just squeeze to let the gel out. I'll be making the Triceratops' neck frill green. Just like all the other 3D pens, be sure to light the gel for a few seconds to keep it in place. And then continue to work. Okay, this thing's not squeezing out too well, so let's fast forward. Woo! Alright, finished filling out the neck frill portion, so let's light it up one more time to completely harden it. Nice! Now that this is complete, we can take it off the sheet now. Here's how it looks! And let's put this aside and make another body part. This time I'll use the red gel to make the spine and tail. Light it up. Okay, I went ahead and made the other part of the tail, along with the Triceratops' head and horns. So let me light all of this up one more time. Next step? Alright, I filled out the Triceratops' ribs, but we have one more step to do. Form the sheet so that the body is curved, and then use the light to harden it. When it's completely hardened, take it off the sheet and it should be curved. Yes! Perfect! Okay, now I'm gonna use the blue gel to make the feet and legs. Light it up. That took a while, but I got all the pieces and it's time to assemble it now. Start by attaching the head to the neck frill. Now attach the horns. Whoa, this looks so cool! I can't wait to see the finished product! Now let's attach the back legs to the spine. Boom! Nice! Here are the Triceratops' back legs. And now let's attach the rib cage. Bam! This Triceratops is coming together! We got a few more pieces to attach. Let's 
let's keep moving! Now we have to attach the front legs to the limbs. Woo! We did it! Now the feet! We're almost finished! Just have to attach the neck frill to the spine. Light it up. And roar! Here's our 3D Triceratops! How awesome is this? Still can't get over the fact that this is made from gel. Oh, let me add one more detail to make this look cooler. Use the green gel again to make spikes. Light it up as I go. Now it's complete! What do you think? Be sure to give this video a bunch of likes and we'll try to do another one when we can! Well, this was a lot of fun! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Hey everyone! Awesome Our Kids here! And today we're bringing you another Crazy Doodle 3D pen! This one's called the So Sweet 3D Shop! Let's open this up and see what's inside! Had a lot of fun with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one, so let's see how this one turns out! Alright, so here are three gel colors. Purple, pink, and yellow. Here are the tips for the gel bottles. Here's the 3D gel pen. And you press this button for the light. We get this purple play knife. Here are two ice cream cones, yellow and pink. Here are four cupcake holders. Pink, blue, green, and purple. This set also comes with glitter packets. We get pink, white, and yellow. We can even make a pink sweet treat dessert tower. We can use these two mold trays to make different sweet treat designs. And with this tray, we can make a few toppings, a lollipop, and more sweet treat related stuff. Now that we got the introduction over with, Let's get started! The first thing we'll need to do is take the caps off the gel bottles and replace them with these tips. Start with the purple gel. Really simple to do. Just twist it on like this. And it's complete! Now let's magically put the tips on the other gel bottles. Woo! That was nice and easy. Next thing we need to do is choose a gel color. I'll go with purple. And attach it to the 3D gel pen. Twist this top part of the tip to unlock. That way the gel can flow out. And I'll start by making this sweet treat. So if you want to hold your gel color in place, all you need to do is flash the light at it for a few seconds. And then you can go right back to work. I'll still be using this purple gel. Flash the light again. Woo! I skipped ahead a little bit and I'm almost done filling in the empty spaces. Light it one more time. Perfect! Now in the instruction booklet, it says we can add glitter if we want to decorate the sweet treat some more. So I'll go ahead and do that. Use the yellow glitter. And to hold in place, I'll flash the light at it again. And there we go! We'll put this purple glitter ice cream on top of a cone later. Now let's make another sweet treat. This time switch out the purple gel for the pink gel. And instead of making this one whole color, I'll do a half and half this time. So give me a moment while I cover half of this sweet treat with pink gel. Be sure to light it to hold it in place. Nice! We're ready to do the other half now. Let's go with the color we haven't used yet, which is this yellow gel. Yeah, Alright, I'm ready to go. Woo! 
light it up. Almost finished. Fast forward. Woo! There's our ice cream on the left and our strawberry lemonade cupcake on the right. Now let's make some toppings. Yellow stars. A pink strawberry. Pink cart. And fast forward again. We made a lot of toppings. Now it's time to light it so that it hardens. Okay, now it's time to pop out our sweet treats. Easiest way to do it is to pop it out with your thumb from underneath. Yes, we did it! A perfect strawberry lemonade cupcake. It's so crazy how we can just do this with gel in the light. Now let's pop the ice cream out. Okay, here's the inside, and we should still be able to see the glitter on the outside. Oh, the purple is a bit too dark. Can't really see the glitter at all. The instruction booklet said we can, but oh well. I'll try with the lighter color next time. It still looks nice. Now to keep the cupcake in place, spread gel on the top like this. and then just place the cupcake on top. And then flash the light for about a minute. Once you do that, it should be completely hardened and you have yourself a nice 3D cupcake. Now let's do the same thing with this ice cream cone. Flash the light. Perfect! Really wish we could see the glitter. It would have been a nice touch, but this still looks pretty. Now let's decorate our sweet treats. Pop out the toppings. Here's a candy. A yellow heart. Okay, let's move on. Use the gel again to attach a cherry on top of the cupcake. Add a few more toppings. And check out how pretty this cupcake is. I went ahead and decorated the ice cream as well. I added the glitter on top, so this is how it should have looked. Now this is what sparkly looking ice cream. We need to put our sweet treat somewhere, so let's go ahead and make this sweet treat dessert tower. Got a few cardboard pieces here, so give me a second while I put all the pieces together. Now this is one fancy looking dessert tray. It's got three levels. Gotta make more to fill all this up, but I'll put the two we made on here for now. Excellent. 